In this video, we're going to show you how to send an online lease form. You want to hover your mouse on the Tenants tab at the top and click on Rental Lease Form Center. Then you want to click on Start New Lease Form and the system will open up a new tab for you just like this. And you want to follow the instructions on the left hand side. The first step is to select the property. I'll select 987 Colby Street, then select the specific unit. On the right hand side, the system will automatically generate the state specific lease agreement for you, just like this. So I'll say that this is tenant Penny Jackson. And right below, you want to enter in the email address so the tenant can sign the lease agreement online. To click on add tenant and I'll say the effective date is April 11th. Next you want to click on save and continue. The third step is adding other occupants. I'll add the tenant Steve Jackson and underneath I'll enter in the email address. Then click on the Add Tenant button, and you can continue to add more tenants. I'll just add those two for now, so I'll click on Save and Continue. Next is entering in the lease duration. So I'll say that this starts on April 11th, and it will end next year on April 10th. Okay, and the payment frequency is monthly, due on the 1st, so I'll click on Save and Continue. Then you want to enter in the lease rent amount. I'll say that this is 1000 and you can also require your renter's insurance if you'd like. If you don't want to, you can simply uncheck it, and the system would remove the verbiage. If you do want to require it, just go ahead and leave it checked. Again, click on save and continue. Okay, so now we enter in the late fee information. I'll say that there is a five day grace period and there's a $50 flat fee and a $10 late fee with a $100 max late fee. Now, if you look on the right hand side where the PDF preview is, all of the information that I entered in here on the left, it gets updated on the PDF on the right hand side. So we can see the start date is on April 11th, ends next year, April 10th. The rental amount is $1,000. And then we have a five day grace period, a $50 flat fee, $10 daily late fee, and then a $100 max late fee. Okay, great. So next you wanna click on save and continue once you're completed there. Next is entering a security deposit. It's optional. I'll say that we do have one. I'll say it's a thousand and I'll click on save and continue. We can see it gets updated here on the right hand side in the PDF preview. You can also put in other deposits such as a pet deposit. I'll go ahead and put in 50 and we can see it reflected on the lease agreement. Then click on save and continue and Second to last step is to sign the lease agreement. So this is where um, the property manager will sign. Once you put your name in there, you wanna click on sign and then your name would appear here on the right hand side with today's date. Okay, so next is to click on save and continue. And the last step here is to make the payment. So for plus accounts and P50 and above accounts, each lease form is $5. And then for basic accounts, it's $10 per lease form. So I'll go ahead and click pay and the card on file will automatically be charged. And now the last step here is to go ahead and email the lease form to the applicants. Okay, so I'll just click on email lease form to applicants. And this is what the email will look like. And it, they will each get a special link for them to sign. So I'll click on send. 
Okay, so now both emails have been sent out. So I'll just click on done. Now it takes us back to the rental lease form center. And if we select the property 987 Colby Street, um, on the right hand side here, we have this lease form widget. So we can see that the property manager signed it. It was sent to the applicants. And so now we're just waiting for both of the tenants to sign. As you can see right here, it says waiting.